Welcome to MBL System Selection. This presentation is not called System Design because the lubrication system for a compressor is going to be designed by the engineer who designs the compressor. So you don't normally need to start from scratch like you would with a grease system for bearings, bushings, and slides. You will normally be provided with a flow rate in drops per minute, pints per day, or something in between. Just confirm that it's the volume for each individual point, and then you can work from there. Most people familiar with automatic lubrication also know that a grease system has a margin of error of plus or minus 20%. However, today our subject is compressor lubrication, and that large margin of error is not acceptable. Compressors need a specific amount of oil to keep them from being damaged. The flow rate is so precise that it's measured in drops per minute. The size of a drop can vary, but the number used by Graco is two thousandths of a cubic inch, or .002, which means one cubic inch is 500 drops. One pint is 14,438 drops. One pint per 24 hours equates to 10 drops per minute. In metric, one drop is 33 thousandths of a cubic centimeter, so one cc is 30 drops. These and other conversions can be found in the manual for the GBL 7500 pumps, manual number 3A2257 on table 2. Most of what you'll run into in the field is the need to replace an existing lubricator. Ideally, a part number can be located on the old lubricator, and that can be used to find information about the specifications of that old lubricator. Then a new one can be quoted by matching up those specifications as closely as possible. That's what I do about 99% of the time. If one of these old numbers can be located, share it with our tech assistance group, and we will locate the information for the old lubricator, then choose a new lubricator based on that information. This is fairly painless, and by far the simplest method. However, from time to time, there is no such information available. At that point, we really need to know three things. What is the drop rate, or flow rate, measured in drops per minute or pints per day? What pressure does it need to overcome? And how does it need to be driven? The flow rate of each pump in a box lubricator is the result of several factors. The input speed of the drive shaft, the reduction ratio of the drive, and the resulting camshaft rotation speed, and the output range of the individual piston pumps. Let's say we have a motor that runs at an even 1800 RPM, just to make the math easier. For a drive used with a motor, one of the most common ratios is the 400 to 1 ratio. 400 to 1 means that for every 400 turns of the drive shaft, there is one turn of the camshaft. If a motor with 1800 RPM is used with this drive, the camshaft speed will be 4.5 RPM, because 1800 divided by 400 equals 4.5. The cams in the MBL are all single lobe, so each pump will stroke once every revolution. Therefore, 4.5 RPM results in 4.5 pump strokes per minute. Now to get to an actual flow rate, we are going to multiply our camshaft speed by the output range of the various pump sizes. Graco offers three different piston diameters in the GBL 7500 pumps. 3 16 inch, quarter inch, and 3 8 inch, and each of these have a different adjustment range. In the manual, the range is shown per stroke of the pump, so whatever that number is, it gets multiplied by the camshaft RPM. In our current example, the camshaft is running at 4.5 RPM. So if our pump output is 12 drops per stroke, the per minute rate is 54 drops per minute, because 4.5 times 12 equals 54. Again, each rotation on a single lobe cam means one stroke of the pump. So 4.5 strokes per minute times 12 drops per stroke equals 54 drops per minute. Offering multiple pump sizes and making each of them adjustable makes this more complicated, but it is necessary because not all applications will require the same flow rate. Also a side note about pump outputs. All the GBL 7500 pumps have a minimum output of zero, but that's really just so they can be turned off completely. You don't want to select a pump that uses a small fraction of the maximum because the stroke would be too short to be reliable. Now let's work through another example. Let's say there's an existing box lubricator with 10 pumps, or they might say a 10 feed lubricator. Each of the pumps has the same flow rate of 40 drops per minute, and it will be powered by an electric motor. Let's say that the pressure of the compressor is 6,500 psi. The high pressure means that 3 16 pumps are the only choice. They have a maximum of 7 drops per stroke. So now what speed do we need to see in our camshaft? 
40 divided by 7 equals about 5.7. So we need a minimum of 5.7 RPM. I say minimum because the pump output is adjustable and it can be turned down from the maximum. So if the RPM is higher than 5.7, that's okay and the pump can be adjusted to a lower output when you install the system. On the last slide, we determined the camshaft speed required by this hypothetical application. Now we need to use that information to select a drive ratio. The speed of the motors sold by Graco for use with the MBL are all around 1,725 RPM. So to determine the drive ratio, we divide the motor speed by the desired camshaft speed. In this case, 1,725 divided by 5.7, which equals 302.63. So about 300 to 1 is the maximum or highest acceptable ratio because lowering the ratio increases the camshaft speed, and that's okay. The MBL has an option for 300 to 1, but only for the gear reducers used on larger reservoirs, and they cost more money than the double reduction drives. So with 300 to 1 as the maximum ratio, we will need to consider the 200 to 1 double reduction and rotary drive. The lower ratio will increase the speed of the camshaft, but turning the camshaft too fast is better than too slow because the pumps can be adjusted later to reduce their output. Now let's check our work. We have a 1725 RPM motor and we selected the 200 to 1 drive. 1725 RPM divided by 200 is 8.625, so our camshaft will turn at 8.625 RPM. The pumps we selected have a maximum output of 7 drops per stroke. So then 8.625 times 7 drops per stroke equals just over 60 drops per minute. The application requires only 40 drops per minute, or about two-thirds of the maximum. So each pump would be turned down about one-third of the way to set the pump output at two-thirds of the maximum. There will be a separate presentation that goes through selecting the actual part numbers for MBL configurations. For now, I will just tell you that this lubricator would be part number MBN 1LM, and we can look at these tables from manual 3A2100 to see what each of those letters means. MBN 1LM is an MBL, which includes the 16 pint reservoir for up to 12 pumps, and a motor mounting base. The 3 16 inch suction pumps will be installed, and the quantity of these pumps is 10. It also includes a 200 to 1 double reduction and rotary drive. The motor is sold separately, and for this application it needs to be a 56F motor, or a 56C with feet, running at 1725 RPM. The reason we require this RPM is because it's what we use to make our calculations earlier in the presentation. Other motor speeds can be used for other applications, as long as the camshaft speed is ultimately within 3 to 50 RPM. In the interest of keeping this video short, we will end with one example but hopefully this shows you how to select a new lubricator to replace an old one when you have a minimal amount of information. Before we go, let's see how much you've learned. If an 1800 RPM motor is used with a 100 to 1 drive, what will be the camshaft speed? 1800 divided by 100 equals 18, so the answer is 18 RPM. Is this speed acceptable for the MBL? Yes, the acceptable range is 3 to 50 RPM, because the pumps are rated for 3 to 50 strokes per minute, so 18 RPM is acceptable. With the camshaft speed at 18 RPM, if the pump is capable of 7 drops per stroke, what will be the maximum flow rate of the pump? While you look for your calculator, remember with the MBL we only offer single lobe cams, so one rotation equals one stroke, or one RPM equals one stroke per minute. So to find our maximum flow rate, multiply the RPM times the drops per stroke, and that will give us drops per minute. 18 RPM times 7 drops per stroke equals 120 drops per minute. This is the maximum because the pump is adjustable and the flow rate can be reduced during installation. If you need any help with an application like this, give us a call at 800-533-9655. And thank you for choosing Graco.